morning guys welcome to a new vlog we are here in manila and look i need to show you how oh, there's no traffic on the road like at all no traffic in not manila fake news there's no traffic traffic in yeah. manila is a fake news <laughs> it's a myth <laughs> it's just a myth <laughs> this is manila just empty no cars only us yeah nice view yes. There's no traffic if you have money to pay for the <laughs> Skyway. <laughs> yeah, the reality is that what I wanted to show you that we are on Skyway, which is super convenient because it's basically like a road on like top of Manila. It's like an extremely long like bridge <laughs> going through all the traffic, so it's like super quick to get through Manila. We just left our hotel because we had last night a birthday surprise for one week. You can watch that in the previous video and today we are going to... Uh, where are we going, Sankrina? Um, Green Hills. Green to Hills. Green, Green Hills. Hills Market. Green Hills Shopping Center. A lot of you guys were recommending it for me to check that place out in the comments, so I'm very curious to see it. <laughs> there, they're entering into the usual man, I love you. <laughs> the reality. <laughs> okay guys, before we are going to that place, we came to another mall which actually is super pretty and I will show you around later. But first we are going to this lost escape room. I don't know how much I can record inside. Probably I'm not really allowed to show like the whole experience, but I'm super excited because escape rooms are like extremely popular in Hungary, but I've never been to one. So my first experience is going to be here in the Philippines. So these are the different rooms. <laughs> we chose this. Oh, okay, Gahara. It will be scary. Mm -hmm. Very scary. <laughs> All of them look very scary to be honest. <laughs> Great, it will be so much um, fun, not scary. <laughs> Are you ready kids? <laughs> We're about to get lost. We are done guys and now we know why is it called lost. But it's not our fault. We lost very much. Very much we lost. Whose fault? Whose fault is it? <laughs> We're lost. <laughs> they robbed us. Joya's fault. <laughs> <laughs> so we literally didn't get through the first room <laughs> because there's only one hour but oh yeah at least it was an experience we tried an escape room <laughs> we need to go with an easy easy level next time <laughs> anyways i also wanted to show you how pretty the mall is like the cinema area is so like retro look there's also all these like retro like projectors display and the whole area have like very like vintage vibes it's super cool like all this old movie posters and this chandelier is super super pretty the whole mall it's a small mall but it's very cool and look the cutest there's a whole like cafe which is a christmas themed cafe and it's so 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 cute And just opposite to the mall now we are in Green Hills. Yes, Green, Green Hills. You can buy any, everything cheaper. Yes. Here. It's kind of like similar vibes to Divisoria. So many of you guys wanted us to check this place out. And we are here now. <laughs> Cheap yes. shopping place. I'm gonna buy you branded bags, yes. Um, Louis Vuitton for, yes. for 500 yes. pesos. <laughs> here to, to like buy souvenirs, souvenirs. Oh, okay. Oh, okay so this is why this place is popular so many everything wow <laughs> looks original it's like at home in cabanatuan there's a mall which is like partially like have shops but other than that kind of like public market vibes and this is very similar to that there, just buy one, take one, 700 one, <laughs> <laughs> Buy one, take one. If you buy one, you will get one. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> Good deal. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so that was like clothing section but also there's like a whole jewelry section there's literally everything here guys so much jewelry
there's a lot of knockoff things in this place but there's actually a lot of like original cheap stuff too so definitely very good place for shopping and this is the food court area have like a mixture of mall but also public market vibes so that's actually really cool it's like an indoor public market area huge bucket of kwekwe <laughs> So many interesting food guys, there's a lot of like typical um, Filipino like street food type of food or like ulam that I'm familiar with but a lot of like different things too that I've never seen like this one It's called dinalo Look at it guys, there's like tortal talong but also this is fish egg Fish egg? Let's try that We try fish egg? Yes Fish egg <laughs> you tried that. Like I said, a lot of um, unfamiliar things for me that my first time seeing. Look at all the food guys, there's just so many interesting things to try that we just got like a lot. I don't even know like what is what. <laughs> Kila anoyon? Uh, Kila win. Uh, fish, fish with vinegar. And cooked chicken. Yes. So, fish cooked in vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's like like the Japanese food. Oh, sashimi. Yeah. Sashimi. Yeah. Raw it's fish in the in deep, deep in vinegar. Raw fish in vinegar. Yeah, yeah you can use your hand. Like, like here. Teach me. <laughs> yeah. you, you never wow. try eating with hand. Yeah, I actually guys I've been living in the Philippines for multiple years and I never like yeah. tried eating like this. It's a lot of new things today at this place. <laughs> Okay, we are putting on a glove. So it's like um, some kind of like tuna. Wrapping rice and this, rice I guess. and banana meat. So I get rice. And some tuna. And tuna. You have to use your thumb to push it into your mouth. Like like yes, like this. <laughs> <Okay. Choc, choc. laughs> First time guys. Good. Oh, it's good. It has like I don't even know like so many spices. Very very spicy. And I don't even know what I'm tasting. It's like very unique and, and nothing like I ever tried in the Philippines. I'm not so good at this stuff. Food is everywhere on my lap. Mm -hmm. I will show you. Show me how. Oh, I try it with the sauce. Awesome. Lots of chili. Put rice. Put this. Maybe this is coconut. Okay. Yes, I think it's buku. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> so strong flavors. Already the tuna without the sauce, but with the sauce it's like so spicy and just so many spices. It's very good though. You like it? Mm, it's very very good. Oh and this I'm a bit scared to try this. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Yeah. From the vinegar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not completely like sashimi. Mm. Yeah. It's like yeah. almost raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> almost raw fish. Okay, I'm gonna try. It has like other vegetables, um, onions, onions cucumbers. cucumbers, and like um coconut milk. Yes. Also, my first time, guys, trying kilawin. I know it because I saw it in like food um shows on YouTube, but I've never tried it myself. So good. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's like a, in Hungary we have always like side dish which is like made with vinegar and kamatis and cucumber and it tastes like that. Mm, it's like a very similar to like Hungarian side dish just it's very spicy very very spicy but but oh my god look at me <laughs> me me eating with my hands is not a very much of a success as also just to save myself, the fact that I'm holding the camera with one of my hands is making things a little bit difficult. <laughs> also guys, my first time trying fish head. It's a lot of um, first time for me. Yeah, there's a fish head. Ah, I'm going to try it with no, the rice. You will eat it. You, it's not good. Now I'm scared. Now it's okay. It's okay? <laughs> <laughs> now you made me worried. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> 
not bad. <laughs> um, uh, it's interesting. Not bad, but I definitely prefer the tuna. But very interesting texture. It's like kind of the texture is like egg yolk, kind of like an itlog napula. It's like egg yolk. Yeah. We also have this little side dish, but we don't know what's the name of this. I'll try it. Maybe I'll see. Maybe I will have more idea when I eat it. We saw spicy and spicy. Yeah, 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 spicy.